Now the next thing I have to do is something we all face from time to some time, and it can be challenging, and that's chroma key. So. 次は、えー、バーチカルに積んだ状態から黒巻きのケースをやっていきたいと思いますが。So there's a great key tool here in Smoke. One of the things I like about Smoke, I don't have to have a plug-in or a third-party application to do a Chroma key. What I'm going to use is something called the master key here, and watch how this works. I just sample across the green screen and the foreground, and right away I get a pretty good key. Master key is a tool that we have to use, but now the key is used to be very easy to get a key. The timeline is not a plug-in, but nothing is wrong. And then what's nice is when I go to adjust it, I'm just using this, this really intuitive way of working right with the image itself. So I don't have to go through all the different controls. I can come right into the key area and start adjusting the white level and the black level. I can even apply some,、uh, some patches. And these are intelligent patches so that when I drop them in, they know whether to add white or black to my scene. マスターゲームの中にはパッチというシステムがありますので、えー、いらないものの最終の詰めは囲っていくだけで、どんどんどんどん似てて、えー、処理していってくれます。And I'll show you、uh, another nice feature here. If I just pick sort of a gray color to put it over, you'll see that that green is automatically being removed from our foreground. So the color is actually being applied automatically. もちろん、えー、フォアグラウンドのオブジェクトで色が被っている部分に関しては自動的に、えー、カラーコレクションを推奨してくれて、えー、そこの部分のリダクションを行ってくれています。And then the last step is just add this garbage mask and、uh, knock out that extra part of the scene that wasn't keyed in there. And I'm almost done with my key, except for one problem, and that's that the background doesn't match my previous shots. Remember, I had that nice、uh, fall looking color grade I'd given it. So I can again just、uh, grab that color grade from here and drop it into,、uh, into our layer here. I dropped it to too many layers, so we'll just remove it from there. So now I've applied all of those effects there, and again, I'll render it、uh, right in front of you. 今レンダリングしてないので全てリアルタイムでプレビューしているだけですのでその下のセグメントにカラーコレクションをコスコスコとも搭載できますで今レンダリングを初めて行いましたのでこれでこんな感じのシーンになりました So we really quickly completed this little section and again working really fast being able to do this stuff quickly be able to render it be able to see results all, all while you're working the same application is great Now I've got one more example I want to show you and I saved、uh, kind of the best for last This is a really complica complicated example Where, yeah, not yeah, where、uh, you'll see that、uh, having the 3D workspace really comes into play here. So, what I'm going to do is move into、uh, just a clean source area, and I'm going to take this shot into action, our advanced、uh, 3D compositing workspace. ところに犬をこの大きさで配置してっていうのはこのもののパターンでしたそれ以上のツールがないのでそこから仕上げていけられないというような状況だったと思います Yeah, so I'm just going to do some quick matching here because we've got a color change in this as I put this foreground element into our background so I'll work on this while you explain what's happening to focus on to save some time、えー、今カラーマッチングはまず全然違うところのものだったようなので、えーカラーをマッチングさせていきますが、えバックグラウンドから何回でも構いません。マッチカラーマッチだけしていきますと、こういった形になっていきます。もちろん、時間を掘って、えー、雨の降っているし、えー、雨も実際には降らせている状態ですので、えー、いろんな障害が出てきていますが、これらを、えー、タイムフレーム上にアニメーションしながらカラーコレクションをマッチングをかけていきます。So, so that worked out pretty quickly. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually remove the background element from the shot of the dog, and I need to do that、uh, essentially a rotoscope. I can't really key this, it's not going to work as a luminance key or a green screen key. So, check out how I can use that garbage mask to do some automated、uh, rotoscoping. So, what I basically need to do is just draw a mask all around our shot of the dog. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me draw all of those points because it takes about、uh, 100 points,、uh, you can see, to go all the way around our hero character dog here.、Uh, and I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments to it. I've got it just about perfect.、Uh, and I want to just get it so it's completely covering、uh, or sticking right to the edge of him. 例えば、まあ、全部を書いていく時間はないと100いくつポイントはありますけれども、大体こんな感じで、えー、周りをこう。But here's the problem. It's 60 frames long, and the dog is moving, and there's rain coming down in front. So, watch what I can do. Instead of animating this by hand and rotoscoping that manually, I'm just going to select all those points, and I'm going to step into the garbage masking、uh, tracker tool.、And、you see, every one of those points becomes a tracker. So, over 100 trackers on screen. 
、えー、100以上のトラッカーが今見えていると思いますけれどもこれらの、えー、ことをロットスコープするのではなくてトラッキングにさせましょうということで各ポイントが、えー、今追いかけています。And this is tracking live, so you can see it's sticking right to it. And when we come out, we're going to essentially have this mask automatically tracked. So, something it would have taken us hours to do done in seconds right in front of you. もちろんこれを手でガベージマスクで追いかけていく、手で追って追っていくロトスコープの形ですと、少なくとも1時間ぐらいかかるかと思います。And if I need to make any adjustments to any of these, I can step back in and make adjustments to any of those individual points. That one worked out perfectly, even with that rain we did in front, and I've basically got this mask in seconds. So now he's put it over top of that background. So then the last thing we need to do is really apply the motion of the backplate to our new foreground element. Again, the tracker really being a key、uh, tool here in smoke. Watch this, I'm just going to pick、uh, something like that little piece of ground there and analyze that, and you can see it sticks right to it. Again, even with that rain falling in front. So, this level of precision is great, and if anything falls off like that, I can just go back and make an adjustment and get that to absolutely and precisely stick into our scene. For example, the rain is very difficult, but the rain is very difficult. 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 So, what I'm going to do is just、uh, position the dog into place, something like that. There is about where we need it to be. And it's looking pretty good, but I need to do a couple more things to really sell this shot. One of those would be a little bit of blur, so I can add some, some Gaussian blur to that to start blending it into the background. And the other thing is to add some new lighting into the scene, and I'm going to do that using an actual 3D light in our 3D compositing space here. ところで、まあ、バッチングは取られていますけれども、実際にはペインとなるところは、もっと馬が横切っていきますので、シャドウを出してあげるには、うまくバッチしないと思います。Yeah, you can see how I can actually use that light like a spotlight. Okay, just adjust the fall off, something like that. I can create something that works pretty well, and I can start positioning this and trying to create a little bit of the realism of what's happening in that scene. Now, the last thing I want to do is unite the light with something in the background. I want to capture some of the motion from the background and apply it to the light. And what's cool here about action is I've been building up this schematic as I work. So, what I'll do is I'll just add in another element. So, I've got the light in my axis, and I'll start by tracking that into the background. So, just tracking the axis, it's not attached to anything yet. And then, if I join those together, the light's now going to move with the horse. So, all I need to do is take the light layer and just Add that over so it's just hitting our hero character there, and you'll see as the horse comes around, that lighting will change just ever so subtly there, and,、uh, and I can start to get the effect I'm looking for. So I'll just kind of do it quickly. So now he's changing, getting a little bit of shadow passing on, and maybe we'll bring up the intensity there. So again, being able to use that lighting to kind of quickly create that scene in 3D, and again, this is all using a 3D light, even though these are flat 2D layers. And the really nice thing about smoke is when I hit process, it takes me about 20 seconds to see my result, and I'm done. 今、リライトのこう内部のライティングを使ってリライトの工程をやっていきましたけれども、えーまあ、こういった速度でレンダリングすることができる非常に速いレンダリング速度も持っていますただ、えー、それよりもツールとして、えー、タイムラインから離れることなくこういった優れたツールにアクセスできる瞬時にアクセスできるインポートもエクスポートも必要とさえしない、えー、統合された環境というのが、えー、このソフトウェアの特徴になるかと思います。